Well, another busy day all across West Michigan and another bitter cold day as our lake effect snow continues as well. So wind chill advisory for most of us along and south of I-96, either till 10 or 11 a.m. tomorrow on Wednesday, as we'll continue with this bitter cold setup all day today and throughout tomorrow as well. Now, this morning you're probably saying, hey, it's not as cold as yesterday. What's going on? That's correct. We have our actual temperatures in the single digits and teens. Still plenty cold, but yesterday we had actual temperatures below zero. Now we factor in the wind and we put in that wind chill factor and we feel like we are a good 3 to 12 degrees below zero. Not as cold as expected. That's because more cloud cover moved in through the overnight and even some additional flurries. We're still keeping the wind chill advisories in place as it's still dangerously cold temperatures. We'll keep that breeze around today as well. A good 20 to 30, maybe 35 mile per hour wind gusts and not only today, but we'll keep this set up tomorrow. Also, we're kind of on a repeat day in and day out. So for today, at times we can feel a good 10 to 15 degrees below zero. Then overnight tonight, we're expected to drop back a little bit more. So we'll see if the cloud cover can dissipate to really allow these temperatures to drop back a good 20 some degrees below zero for tomorrow. That's why that wind chill advisory lasts until tomorrow morning. It's been plenty snowy though. When we take a look at the temperatures, uh, we've been trying to eat away at that deficit that we've had for the season. Of course, the snow continues mostly in a lake effect fashion this week, but now Muskegon only at a 4.1 deficit and Grand Rapids at a 10.3 deficit for the season this year. And we continue with that winter weather advisory today along the immediate lakeshore until one o'clock with the wind. Blowing and drifting snow is a potential still dropped visibility for some of you as this lake effect snow really has stayed steady in its location since yesterday from Muskegon to uh, Holland it is South Haven becoming more lighter as it goes into South Haven and now today we're trying to push this back uh, a little bit more inland past 131 as you work just east of the Grand Rapids area. Here's those additional flurries and cloud cover this morning that really has prevented our temperatures from dropping back a bit but notice we're just shifting to that straight lake effect as we head more and more into the later morning hours. We'll continue to hold on to this today. Otherwise, if you don't have that lake effect snow, cloudy, cold, breezy, very similar to what we had yesterday. Daytime highs in the single digits. So no matter how you slice it, it's still another bitter cold day. Nine degrees is all we'll get to. Seven through the overnight as we generate another round of lake effect snow, breezy winds, bitter cold temps. You get the picture. We're going to have this around uh, on this on and off again pattern each and every day this week. Anytime you have that lake effect snow chance, we're going to get a general one to two inches of snowfall. And then even as we head into Friday, we're going to have a chance for more system widespread snow. 17 degrees tomorrow, 21 on Thursday. We'll start to slowly rebound with these temps. That lake effect snow finally shutting off as we head into the start of the weekend. And look where we're headed next week 24 on Sunday 31 on Monday so back towards average where we should be which is 31 degrees but then beyond next week the next 8 to 14 days climate prediction center putting us in warmer above average temperatures and next week we might even see some rain